Welcome back guys to the channel, only channel on YouTube that actually makes MetaZoo videos. And today guys, we just got done with day one of Caster Cup. Guys, this shit was kind of wild. I was very happy with it. The turnout for the event guys, I think there was over 300 players. Um, I'm not going to do any crazy editing in this video because I'm taking it from literally a hotel. But I think there was around 300 people um literally the final round round eight ended at like midnight like 12 30 and there's still a good chunk of people out there was like at least another hundred people just still there for round eight which was really really wild um overall there's a few things i want to talk about so eventually i'll probably when i get back to my house i'll record some actual longer form videos about the stuff i want to talk about but uh number one i did not play south 32 very sad i know Y'all were expecting the goon squad at day two clapping cheeks. However, comma, I did place 102nd. So I placed in the top half. I, I, I know how to play the game. You know? Um, and actually one of my uh, teammates actually top four, or not top four, the top 32, which is really exciting. Uh, right now it's about 120 though. I'm kind of, kind of looking to, Looking to sneak one of these Uncle Sam's to borrow for tomorrow. Because Uncle Sam's kind of sussy. Uh, what is that? 125 damage. Gains fleet and unblockable if you're American. Or at least if you live in the USA. It's a wild card. It's kind of crazy. And yeah, other than that, I think I had lent him a Prism Aura. And I was really excited. I'm really glad one of my teammates actually made it to day two. Um... I think the best other person than that, we placed, I was like 85 or something, 102. I placed 102. And then my other friend placed like 130th or something, which at a certain point, I don't know how much the placing even matters because people were dropping, uh, people were dropping at a certain point. Uh, you're not going to make it to day two because you just have too many losses or you have too many ties, which is not a great thing to have. I learned that the hard way. Um, I think today I had a total of three wins. It was at least three ties. Three ties and a loss, which was really sussy. Um, I took too many ties. I had, well, one tie where I went into time or where we just didn't even finish a game against Lightning. It was a Lightning Mirror match. Uh, the other time, uh, one of the other times, I guess I just don't remember. One of the big times that I had, it was a, it was a tied game. Basically, what was going to happen was, it was game one, my opponent won. Game two, we were playing that. And we were trying to finish, and we were about to go, not go into time. I think we had an extension or something, but basically, basically... Um, we had to call a bunch of judges over and we ended up tying. Now the specific rolling that was in question on why we got the tie was when you run out of cards in your spell book. When you run out of cards in your spell book, um, you actually tie the game. You actually tie the game. I don't know if you guys know that or not. Um, I would recommend if you guys are playing MetaZoo to actually read the rule books. I've been practicing to become a MetaZoo judge and I knew that for a fact. So when the first judge came over, he ruled against me, and uh, I we had to call a second judge because I was not, I wasn't, I, I don't, that's not the way it works. I knew for sure that if you both run out of cards in the spellbook, you just tie. Um, so the second judge came over, we got a tie for that game. Third game, I ended up. Uh, being him, I got a power up red hornet, like literally turn three immediately on on draw, and uh, or on on ramp I guess. When, when I had three auras, I played a power up red, which is kind of wild. And um, yeah, I beat him after that, and then we ended up tying. It was I won one, I lost one, and then we tied the third game, or whatever. Right, basically we tied, and. Uh, Mans was not happy, but you know what, guys? I think this is a general good lesson that you need to call judges over when you feel like there's something fishy, something sussy, something kind of um, kind of sheesh going on. 
because it's you know it's part of the rules that if you both run out of spell book cards uh that it draws it's not my responsibility to be reminding everyone of every single rule in every single game i i don't know i'm just i'm kind of tired right now so if i'm rambling if i say something kind of like you know um I had another tie today where I was... No, I lost. My loss. I only lost today. It was against a Cosmic player when I should have called a judge uh, for him slow siding. Which you might be like, Mark, what are you even talking about, right? By slow siding, I mean this man took a solid five minutes to side deck when our game... So, game one took about, I'm going to say, 42, 43, 45 minutes. I don't know. I didn't specifically time it. But in between that game and getting ready for the next game, uh, I should have called a judge. He was taking too long. And I'm not trying to strike people like, oh, you get 30 seconds for this, 30 seconds for that. But like, he took a solid five minutes. And by the time I even called the judges over, they're like, oh, nope, you don't get a game too. I'm like, what do you want from me then? What? what? I don't know. I, w I was mad about that. Um, not specifically because I got a loss, but because I knew what the guy was doing. Um, I was, I'm still kind of bad about that. I knew specifically what the guy was doing. Um, should have called a judge sooner. And, uh, yeah, I'm just kind of annoyed about that still. Uh, I, at, at least in the future, I know to call on sooner. Uh, for day two, though, I am going to be going out, lending my teammates some cards. Um, I wish I had more lava bears to let him borrow, but I don't have any lava bears. I do have Uncle Sammy Malami. Pretty, pretty wild, sussy, bussin' card. Um, and I do have a fire core more or less, but we're going to see where we're going to meet up right now. Um, again, I'm going to have like a more concise video when I'm not freaking dead tired. I don't know if y'all can see the bags in my eyes. It's like freaking one something AM. Um, also there's going to be no editing in this video. So, you know, if I say something off, just, I don't know. Call me a, call me a freaking Goomba in the comments. Also, I brought the watch. I was very excited. Um, also got this. And I think other than that, there was one other kind of goodie that was kind of funny. Um, <laughs> round seven, I think they handed out these water bottles. And I saw this guy actually going around trying to buy water bottles off people or just trying to take them. And uh, that's funny. It has a little baby leveling frogman right there. Giving baby frogman, chibi baby frogman, uh, just a gallon of water. It's really funny. I ended up getting, I think, two of them. Uh, I don't know. Guys,